Hey there, Andy Black here and thanks for stopping by this video. Now the first thing that you should do before creating any content to publish on the web, whether it's a blog post, a website page, an article or even a video on YouTube, the first thing that you should do is keyword research. Finding keywords that has enough search volume that you're able to rank for comfortably, okay? Now the software that I use um, almost on a daily basis in uh, some cases is called Insta Keywords. Now I know the developer of this uh, software very well. He's a good friend of mine, San Kumar. He's a very good developer and I've managed to secure a backdoor page um, with special pricing on. That's a one-time investment, no recurring fees, and it's going to be unlimited usage. Um, but you can learn more about that or get access by clicking the link in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to give you a demo, a quick walkthrough uh, of this software and illustrate to you why it's such a good tool and why it's so important to use this before you create any content. Okay, so... I'm logged into my dashboard here and you'll notice there's two tabs here, there's YouTube and Google. So whether you wanted to get keyword suggestions and search volumes etc for YouTube or Google, that depends on which uh, tab you click on here. But I'm going to leave it set to Google. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave a language on English and the country on global. So this is going to be like worldwide sort of data. And I'm going to click on something really competitive. So weight loss. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree that weight loss is an extremely competitive niche and this particular keyword here is not one that we would target because we generally have no chance of ranking for it. So what we want to do is find keywords within the uh, weight loss niche that we can rank for. So what I'm going to do here is click on generate suggestions and you'll see that it's loading up uh, a number of different columns here which I'm going to go through in a minute and we're going to scroll down. Okay. Um, but uh, if we want to load more, we can visit the button here, load more results, and we can click that as many times as we want if we want to keep loading more results, okay? So we'll scroll down. So I'm going to explain basically um, what these columns are and also how to export them, but I'm going to show you a little trick on how we're going to find the easy keywords that we can get traffic and we can rank for. Um, so on the left-hand side here, keyword column, obviously self-explanatory. You can see it's the actual keyword itself. Um, and then in the column next to it is the monthly search volume. So you can see weight loss here. It has like over half a million searches um, on Google per month. Um, the cost per click. So if you're interested in um, using Google AdWords and, and paying for ads, so you're, you're essentially going to be paying for traffic, then it tells you on this column here, uh, what the uh, uh, cost per click is okay so if you can find any um, with a low cost per click it means that you can run a profitable campaign most probably and you can see here some people like this one weight loss surgery to give an example people are paying eight pounds or eight dollars 19 per click it's because weight loss surgery uh, is obviously a lucrative um, uh, industry so they don't mind paying for this when they're going to be uh, you know receiving thousands for their uh, work and for their surgery procedures but we can see here to rank for it, it's ultra hard right um, if we want to export these quickly this particular list here then what we can do is just click uh, export csv type in what we want to do here click ok and it will export it to your local machine and then you can you've got all your columns there in your um, csv file you know in excel or whatever and you can sort and arrange and filter the uh, keywords and data how you please but what we're going to do here is show you the interesting part so as you can see all of these are generally ultra hard very hard etc or some of them have no traffic so they're just not basically worth uh, going for okay but if you look here let's have a look at something um, this one here um, it says it's fair apple cider vinegar for weight loss um, plus um, and sorry I have actually forgotten <laughs> to mention these other two columns so I'll say that quickly competition uh, this is basically the level of competition um, that each keyword has so how many other sites or web pages are actually targeting um, each of these um, specific keywords and next to that we've got trends so what this does here is if we click on that it tells you the past 12 months um, search volume trend um, so you can see whether a search volume has been searched for more recently or whether it's tailing off 
And so it just gives you a good idea of, of, of where this sort of keyword search volume is heading over the last 12 months to the current day. Um, so we'll come back to this one here. So there's one here, 42,000 searches a month, apple cider vinegar for weight loss. Now, if we click this particular keyword here, we can see it's very up and down. Um, as high as 135,000 monthly searches in the last 12 months and as low as 60,500. So it's incredible amount of searches there. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to drill into this keyword to see if there's any other suggestions um, of keywords that still bring traffic but are easier to rank for. So we want something that's going to be easier in terms of competitions. So we're going to click on this. And as you can see now, um, it has returned a number <coughs> of um, additional suggestions. But as you can see here, um, these are longer tail keywords and a bit more obscure and a lot of these say no traffic, okay? If we scroll down and see what's available, now obviously we can keep loading more if we want to, um, which we can do. And you can see there's some here that's got 90, this is 590, but there's one here that's just caught my eye. Um, so there's one here, um, apple cider vinegar for weight loss before and after. Um, now we can keep drilling down if we want to, but this one's caught my eye. So there's 1900 searches per month and it says here, great, the competition. So it looks like there's there's very little competition. Now if we click on uh, the trend, um, so we can see that the search volume was a lot higher um, and it's uh, it has gone down. So it, what it does it here, it kind of works out the average. So we, we can see at the minute, it's still giving us um, about 880 searches per month. Okay, so even though over the last 12 months, this particular keyword search volume has gone down, it's still a decent keyword and there's nothing to say that it won't actually go back up. So, because um, it might be seasonal as well. So we're gonna click on this. And um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do a little test here. Um, this is something I do. You can get an idea, this is just to give you an idea on how many web pages or sites are actually targeting a specific keyword. So I'm just gonna copy this keyword, apple cider vinegar for weight loss before and after. And I'm just gonna open up an incognito browser. I'm gonna type in google.com. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to, in quotes, so we get the exact match, and I'm just gonna click enter. And as we can see here, there's only 10 results on the whole of the web um, that basically uh, has this keyword in its entirety like this somewhere on the web page. It's not even the title, just somewhere on the web page that has this exact keyword. There's only 10 web pages on the whole of the web, the whole of the internet, which means there's literally no competition whatsoever. So what does this mean? Okay. What it means is I could um, potentially create a blog post. If I had a weight loss uh, blog or something to do with health and diets, um, a website, then I could write uh, some content that is uh, all about the apple cider vinegar for weight loss um, diet and um, also include, you know, before and after pictures. So if I create some content around this keyword, there's a very good chance that I'm going to rank number one on Google or at least very close to the top. And I'm going to be receiving a lot of this traffic here on a monthly basis. Okay. So this example, I've shown you how to go from the keyword weight loss to identify the apple cider vinegar for weight loss kind of keyword. And then this particular one here, apple cider vinegar for weight loss before and after. And you can do this over and over. You should you should do this process for every piece of content that you put on the web, uh, whether it's um, publishing a video, whether it's um, publishing a blog post or any kind of web page for a website. It could be a client's website. You might do client work. Um, you write content for client websites. And this is something that you should do because you're going to find it very hard to rank um, for a competitive keyword such as weight loss, but extremely easy for other keywords, little hidden gems that get tons of search volume like this, but have very, very little to zero competition. Okay, if you're interested in getting unlimited access to this software with no recurring fees for a huge discount, then if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the link in the description below this video. It'll take you through to the page. The page should hopefully still be there. It's a backdoor offer that I've um, secured with my friend San Kumar for his software. I can't guarantee that it's going to be there and available forever. Okay, so act quickly if you would like to get access uh, for a, a super deal with this software. So thanks for watching this video. 
My name's Andy Black, and I will see you on another video.